Since its emergence in the mid-1990s, social media has become an integral part of our everyday lives. YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, we've come a long way since the days of pigeons. And now social media is a worldwide phenomenon. Yes, it's undeniable that they have many benefits and catching features, but there's the other side to consider too. Censorship, suppression of speech, social manipulation, privacy concerns. The current landscape of social media is complex and controversial, an ad-filled, profit-driven hotbed of monopolistic companies competing to collect and sell your data. Big Brother is watching you. But just imagine, what if there is a world without him? Well, cue decentralized social media. First, let's talk about what decentralized social media actually is. As the name suggests, these social networks operate in a, well, decentralized manner. It's a paradigm shift from traditional social media platforms that are centralized and controlled by a single authority where the power is instead distributed among its users. These decentralized platforms offer certain advantages over their centralized counterparts like enhanced privacy, transparency, security, and full control over your data, digital identity, and content. With no central authority controlling or manipulating content, free speech prevails. Thoughts and ideas can flourish without fear of censorship. And if you're worried about your private information being sold to the data miners out there so they can sell you more stuff that you don't need with ads that you don't want to watch, these decentralized platforms give users control of their own data and transactions, which means more empowerment and privacy for you and your loved ones. Then there's also another sub aspect of decentralized social media called social finance or social fi for for short, a hybrid concept fusing social media networks with Web3 and DeFi, introducing a creator economy driven by monetization models using fungible and non-fungible tokens, NFTs. At the heart of SocialFi's monetization is the concept of social tokens, a form of in-app utility tokens used to drive a creator economy where content creators are rewarded for their contributions. Decentralized social networks represent a fundamental shift in the infrastructure of social media platforms, empowering users and fostering a more transparent, secure, and user-centric online experience. But it's not all just sunshine and rainbows. Okay, it's not always rainbows and sunshine. One obstacle is attracting a large user base as people are more accustomed to centralized platforms. Decentralized networks also have a steeper learning curve that could deter non-techy users. Scalability is also an issue due to the decentralized nature of these networks, making it challenging to handle large amounts of traffic and data. Blockchain-based networks are subject to cryptocurrency market volatility, affecting rewards for content creators and the stability of the network. Insufficient funds could lead to network shutdowns, disrupting user connections. Not to mention potential regulatory challenges too, as there are no global standards for blockchains and regulators all around are already cracking down on the crypto space. As the technology evolves, solutions may emerge to address these drawbacks. And despite the challenges, decentralized social media still holds immense potential for a more transparent and user-centric online experience. If you hadn't already caught on, notice that we've mentioned that there are actually two types of decentralized social media platforms, blockchain-based and non-blockchain-based. Blockchain-based platforms leverage the power of blockchain technology to provide transparency, immutability, and tokenization. By storing user data and content on a blockchain, these platforms ensure content cannot be tampered with or removed without consensus. And as seen from SocialFi, blockchain-based platforms like Steemit and Lens Protocol often incorporate native tokens. These are used to incentivize user participation, content creation, and community engagement. 
government, and they offer the potential for a more decentralized and economically incentivized social media ecosystem. On the other hand, non-blockchain-based platforms employ alternative technologies and models to achieve decentralization. These platforms may rely on federated systems where data is distributed across multiple servers or nodes. This approach allows for greater control over data and content, as well as enhanced privacy and censorship resistance, like its blockchain-based counterparts. Non-blockchain platforms also often focus on user empowerment and community-driven governance. Both of these solutions come with their own set of considerations. Blockchain-based solutions may offer immutability and better transparency, but they lack the scalability of non-blockchain platforms. The availability of token rewards is also a double-edged sword. Yes, they help incentivize and attract participation, but the volatility of crypto can also introduce uncertainty into the economic model of blockchain-based solutions. Plus, there's also an argument to be made about organic versus profit-driven inorganic content and what will happen when these incentives are no longer attractive. Well, ultimately, the choice between blockchain-based and non-blockchain-based comes down to individual preferences and priorities. Now, let's take a look at some of the top social media protocols and platforms in the decentralized space. One prominent blockchain-based example is Lens Protocol by Aave, which functions as a social graph platform catering to many social apps like YouTube and Twitter. It's also an open secret at this point that there will be a Lens airdrop coming soon too. Another noteworthy protocol is Mestodon, a non-blockchain-based decentralized social media platform. It operates on a federated model where multiple interconnected servers or instances form a network. Each instance can have its own rules and moderation policies enabling users to choose communities that align with their preferences. Then there are also projects like Diaspora, Damas, Peepeth, Hive, and many more, all offering their own unique spin on decentralized social media. In conclusion, decentralized social media, or SocialFi, presents a promising alternative to centralized social media platforms. While both centralized and decentralized platforms have their pros and cons, the future of decentralized social media holds immense potential for fostering great user empowerment, privacy, and control over personal data. In fact, even Web2 platforms like Reddit, Meta, and Twitter Twitter are already experimenting with decentralized elements. As the community continues to innovate and overcome the challenges faced by decentralized platforms, we can anticipate a more inclusive, transparent, and resilient social media landscape. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Check out our previous video to learn more about how account abstraction could make decentralized social media a possibility.